Now moving on to probably one of the best aspects of this phone and I'm still so shocked you know because typically when I talk about the software especially for one of these devices it's usually a horrible experience especially Samsung you know even if you go to like the Samsung Galaxy S8 it's just kind of a weird experience you know but the battery life is pretty good on those phones with this device because of its removable battery that in and of itself makes it that much better but the software aspect is something that I found out last year that you can actually fully custom ROM fully root and I actually ended up doing that. I rooted my Galaxy S5 and I custom ROMed my Galaxy S5 and I was able to install an Android 10 ROM on that device. Now it wasn't the smoothest experience. I ran into a lot of issues. I think I boot looped that phone twice but I ended up getting it back in recovery mode. But this is what I'll tell you. If you're keeping it stock, it started off with Android 4.4. It's you know now you can get Android 6.0 and it's not going any other further than that. And obviously that's severely outdated. You're not going to have any of the cool features that we have nowadays. You're still going to be able to download some apps and stuff, but it's not going to be as functional as you may think. But here's the thing. With the Samsung Galaxy S5 rooted and custom ROMed, that is some awesome capability that you have. After I custom ROMed it and I rooted it, it was a like a brand new phone. It wasn't still like a crazy fast phone, but the customizability I had from it, the capability I had from it, it was just so smooth. The only problem was it overheated a little bit, a little bit more than usual. But other than that, I was shocked that I was even able to get that kind of software on this type of device. And I want to get Android 11 on it and I probably will end up doing it. But that is awesome. That is something that really shocked me. And I really, really love that kind of stuff. And with this type of device, this in and of itself, the software customizability of it, and even going into the battery segment, it's probably, I mean, 2,800 million power battery, it's removable. So so even the battery size isn't even that big of a deal. You can just put a bigger battery in it if you want. They, you know, some of the case manufacturers developed cases with batteries in them that you literally snap to the back of the phone, which is awesome on this type of device. And at the end of the day, you have a lot of capability when it comes down to the software and the battery. And it's probably one of the best segments of this phone, if I'm being honest. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. Now, 